How was your experience here at WonderCon? Uh, this is my first time ever at a convention like this. I basically just got here, so I'm, ho I'm hoping to get on the floor to see some of the, the people and the characters. Yeah, see what's going on, right? Yeah, 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 I'm pretty excited. <laughs> All right, so Hemlock Grove, what are you most excited for people to see when this debuts? I, I think that it's just people are going to be really interested in all the unique characters in the show. It's such a, a huge ensemble cast, and I think each character is so unique and, and strange and mysterious and different in its own right. So I'm, I'm interested to see how the people respond to all the different characters and their relationships. So what can you tell us about your character and the relationship that he has with other characters? Uh, Peter is sort of uh, the outsider of, of all outsiders, you know, he's, he's this kind of morally grounded yet impulsive vagabond gypsy, and he travels with his gypsy mother, and, and so he's kind of a free sp spirit, but with, with that of course comes the uh, kind of the, the price of loneliness, you know, so he's kind of a lone, a lone wolf, so to speak. And, and, uh, and when he arrives in Hemlock Grove, he meets uh, Bill Skarsgård's character, Roman, which is sort of the uh, the the rich kid in town, and, and you know his, his family sort of owns the town because of the, the the kind of have a monopoly on the town, and and um and they have this immediate connection with each other. They have this immediate sort of spiritual relationship, and they don't know what, exactly what it is, but they know that they have to be friends. And then when the local uh, local girl gets murdered, Peter is kind of the immediate person to point fingers at because he's the new kid in town he's uh, you know he's a gypsy it's an easy thing you know to point fingers at him and and also uh, a girl spreads the rumor in the school that he's a werewolf so he's, he has all these things against him so he he, uh, he makes it sort of his own goal with Roman to to solve who's killing the girls yeah. okay. and so how does that progress throughout the whole series well, it progresses with the, you know, the, the Roman and Peter's relationship sort of growing and kind of figuring itself out and like who, who they are to each other. And, and then um, as, as the show goes on, uh, there, there's more murders. So the stakes get higher and higher with each, with each one. So Roman and Peter slowly start losing time and they have to find the murderer as, as quick as possible. It's a pretty stellar cast. I love everyone in it. Um, who are some of your favorite people to work with? I mean, all of them were, were absolutely fantastic people to work with. I know, you know, Bill and I got along right away, and we, you know, he's a great person to be able to work with. He's very open and also very, he's a strong actor. And uh, it was kind of a, it was, it was kind of a, fantastical experience working with Lily Taylor you know she's such a beautiful strong woman and, and such a character actress and and you know everyone else you know like Freya Penelope they were all just like such a great group of strange people <laughs> yeah. what about Eli Roth as director working with Eli was great he was he was a very like um, enthusiastic guy he has such a wealth of knowledge of film and um, so he was he was so open creatively to all of our performances and, and he was also had the experience to kind of aid us along in the first episode. So, and the first episode is always the scariest one, you know, because you don't know what the hell you're doing, you know. So Eli was a great guy to be able to be like, let's just figure it out. We hear he's very passionate. He is. Yeah. Very charismatic, yeah. Very charismatic guy. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. We can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. <laughs>